So we are currently at AR20 and Sayu's banner is about oh no. to end. There are a few ways I could get her. I could buy my way into Sayu through Genesis no. Crystals or slowly grind out Primal Gems through various yes. means and hope that I get lucky enough to get her. I could spend money to get her, but that would pretty much immediately end the video. So before I consider buying my way into Sayu, I want to see what are the free-to-play alternatives. And since we are at AR20, our best bet is to actually do the event. It doesn't matter what event it is, as long as you could do it, you should do it. It's free Primal Gems. And then after that, I'll move on to the Spiral Abyss. For floors 1 to floor 8, if you complete the 369 star requirement, you gain wow. 100 Primal Gems. So if I could get even just the first 3 floor done with 9 stars, that's like another 900 Primal Gems. And if this doesn't work out, I guess the only other option is just to slowly grind chest in and start in the rare. Okay, so before I go to the spiral base, I just need to make sure that everyone's weapons are counted for. And uh, let's just start with upgrading Beidou's weapon to level 40. Now looking at the White Iron Great Sword, let's just do the same as well. Oh, wait a second. Is it what I think it is? No! Ah, oh, damn. That means um, I can't use this weapon until I get Sayu. Uh, this would have been a decent weapon for Noel, but if it's kept at level 40, I can't really use this weapon. So maybe, uh, the R5 debate. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Okay, um, still going to level up Noel to level 40 first, because, um, she will need it. Thing goes to Beidou, level 40. Alright, let's see if Marjorie has what I think I need. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, she does. Alright, and let's just get this to level 40 and get it done and over with. Yeah, and that's basically it for this sword. Unless I get Sayu, of course. Alright. And the only one left is to clear Spiral Abyss, so let's do that. I remember a time where gliding up into the Spiral Abyss was not an option. I had to literally glitch under the map and swim my way to the Abyss. Can't believe we have progressed so much since then. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Uh, Razor, Noah and Beto and go. Going straight to floor 2. And straight to floor 3. Yes. No. Alright, well, there's no 3 stars, but it's fine. As long as we get 2 stars for each of the floors, we can still get the 6 star reward and move on to floor 4. Oh, uh, yes, these ones. Oh, boy. When I first did this, I always died to these treasure holders. But now that I know the game a bit better, I could just send them off the map. Bruh. Yep, so also no 3 stars for this because the enemies are a bit too tanky for my level. Right, so as long as I get at least 2 stars on this chamber, I should be able to go... Oh wait, never mind. There's only 2 of them. And that's floor 3 done. I think I could get 6 stars on floor 4. I think I meet the DPS check for 6 stars. The only reason why I'm even considering this is due to the Abyss buff. It's so strong for... Oh, what the... F hey, dude, I was talking. Oh my god. So I just want to quickly talk about the Abyss buff for a minute. So basically what happens is if you deal a normal attack, what happens is uh, it gets this mark and... After a certain period of time, this thing will just deal a crap ton of damage. Yeah, the point is, there's a buff that's making me deal a lot more damage than I should be doing, and hence why I'm using this opportunity to get as many stars as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Bro, uh, you know what? I deserve that. It's fine. Um, I can always come back at a later date once I've got my characters built up, and then we will try to get the stars again. Well, for now, I... Oh, well, alright, okay, two stars. 
So as I was saying, I don't have to get the full completion stars since I have until the end of the month to try to get as many stars as possible. Probably what's going to happen is at the last day of the month, I will revisit the Spiral Abyss and try to push Abyss as much as possible. Who knows by then if I have new characters to work with? Who knows? I might even have Sayu. So if I have Sayu, then I can continue to progress to, let's say, Floor 8. Alright, so that's floor 4 done. I actually got 7 stars um, for this floor, so I can do floor 5. Uh, I think we could do Razor and Noel for the first half, and the second half we just have Beidou. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get destroyed, but uh, yeah, crit rate, okay, nice. And uh, yeah. <laughs> A few moments later. This was a mistake. Ah uh, yes, time to bring it out to chapter 6. Three primal gems while we are at it. Okay, these hypostasis one. And yeah, I can't I definitely can't finish chapter 7, but I could definitely do some of these ones, like these artifacts and uh Okay. Wait, did Noel's shield just dispel twice? Huh? Oh wait wait wait, is that Noel's um level 20 skill? Yes. I completely forgot about it. Oh my god. Well this actually means that Razor and Noel go pretty well together. Because Noel can just act as a fail safe in case Razor's health gets too low. So that's really good. Yeah, Razor's just shredding the unable hypostasis. Alright, so that's the animal hypostasis down. Okay, so the geohypostasis should be no problem because we are a claymore character, we can break the pillars, and we have Noel that can just pretty much destroy all the pillars in one cycle. So this fight should be pretty straightforward. And yeah, this fight is as, as straightforward as it seems, I guess. Oh, and we got two bizarre pillars. Really nice. No. Now this thing scares me. As you can see, I have two Electro characters and Noel. And Electro attacks are basically useless against this thing as well. <laughs> but my bigger problem is the crystals. Can I clear this thing with just Noel? Because if I can't, I'm essentially stuck at AR25. Alright, the moment of truth, Noel. Oh, what? Wait, wait a sec. I didn't know about this. I didn't know that Noel could break the crystal, but is it fast enough though? No way! I didn't know about this! I mean, it. I mean, it's slow. Like, really slow. It requires both her E and Q, but if it's fast enough, it works. Okay, so we need to prioritize Noelle's energy recharge then, because otherwise, I could be fighting this thing for a really long time. Or maybe I get a Pyro or a Cryo character. That works too. Oh, wow. Since Noel can progress our adventure rank, we could technically reach AR60 or upgrade our characters to a number that is above 40. After defeating the Electro Hypostasis, I went ahead and started grinding chests in order to gather Primal Gems for Sayu. There were a good amount of chests that I was unable to get since they either require a bow character or require a specific element which I had no access to. However, despite these restrictions, I was able to grab a few extra chests through some well-timed shots through enemy-friendly fire, or using Noel and Razor's attacks to reach places they are otherwise too far away to hit normally. There were a few highlights during my journey, such as grabbing a few luxurious chests, conquering a trans domain, and even fighting an unusual hilly churl. But otherwise, the extra chest hunting journey was really lackluster. Now that I have collected as many chests as possible in my start, I used the primal gems I've gathered in order to get Sayu. And here's how it went. So the past few hours I've just been farming chest through Monstart. And here are the results. We've got 451 chest, 49 series, and 16 of the time troll challenges completed. Still have a few shrine of depths to be collected. And my statue of seven is at level nine. I currently have a little bit over 3,000 Primal Gems and that's a really underwhelming number considering the fact that I spent literal hours going through over 500 chests. But nevertheless, at least the chests are now collected and I guess we could do some rolls. Okay, is that Sayu though? Oh god. 
anxiety building out right now. Ah, uh, no, I don't need. Oh wait, that's a uh, claymore, right? Hmm. Ah, uh, at least I can use the great sword. That's not that bad, but it's still pretty. De de I want to roll, but at the same time, I don't want to roll. Like, I just don't want to press this button and just be disappointed, but... Screw it! Oh god, please let this be Sayu. Please be Sayu, please be Sayu, please, please, for the love of- No! 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 Bro. This is insulting. What? I don't need this. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? SFC1 is not salt on the wounds already. Now I get this? Bro. Dude, my brain. Five hours for C2 Razor. If you think about it, it's actually not that bad. Every single four star that I got helps with my challenge. The only problem is, it's not Sayu. So I'm just jabated. We do have two of these, so we might as well just spend it. And in the rest, I'm probably just gonna leave it for next month. I, I guess, let's just run this. You know, now that I think about it, this weapon is actually pretty good. I mean, right now, the three characters that I have don't have a really good utilization of this great sword. But let's say if I get Chong Yung or Sayu, uh, yeah, maybe one of those two characters on the top of my head, they will be really good with this uh, great sword, for sure. Um, but I think it's to that domain. Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Cecilia domain, so this will be capped at level 40. But, um, the skill will still be really useful though, so I'll take it. Alright, I guess we walk away from this wishing session with C2 Razor. What the f- And a great sword for Noel. Not bad, not bad, but... Bro.